Today I'm at Manchester Golf Club to check out the rest of the Stuart Golf Trolley range. Now I've already tested out the Q Follow this year, but today I've got the Q Remote and also the X10 Follow to have a look at. I'm going to be seeing how they compare and what the differences are and just taking a look at the advantages of using a remote control and a follow trolley. Now obviously I can't test two trolleys at the same time, so I'm going to go for nine holes with each and then give you a roundup at the end. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, so first up I've started with the Q remote. Now you might recognize this because it looks very similar to the Q follow that I reviewed earlier in the year. And in fact, it is actually remarkably very similar in terms of function as well as styling. We've got the fact that you can use this manually and you can use it with the remote control. So with this, we've got all the remote control functions that we saw in the Q follow. You've got the four different direction controls. You've got an emergency stop button, a slow stop button, and then you've also got three cruise control settings. So you can set the speed that you like to use the trolley at, pre-function and set this in, and then you just press the one, two, or three button, and the trolley will automatically set off at that speed, which is definitely a really handy addition. Now, it's gonna be really interesting to see how I get on with this trolley, because typically I do use the follow function a lot when I use Stuart Golf trolleys. So I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how I adapt to just having the remote, and if I find that it's very different from not having the follow function at all. But let's get on with it and see how I get on on the course. In terms of visuals, the Q remote is almost identical to the Q4 that we've previously reviewed. The shape and the styling is very similar. I would say there's some slightly different colorways around the wheel trims, but other than that, this is a really identical product. And I think that's great in terms of that visual. Another advantage we have with this model is it folds down slightly smaller. So if you are short on space, that's definitely a big plus. This comes in both 18 and 36 battery options, but honestly, the battery life is so good. I've easily been able to squeeze 54 holes out of these batteries. So it's definitely a big advantage if you're someone who plays a lot of golf or doesn't want to charge your battery after every round. With the remote, we have a slightly different color to what we see in the Q Follow. So this comes in black instead, and we've got three different cruise control options on here. So that is where you can preset the speed that you want the trolley to set off, with, which is a really handy feature. We've also got the normal kind of arrows for your direction control and your two different stop buttons. So I've now swapped into the X10 Follow for the back nine. As you can probably tell from the name, this is a follow trolley like we saw in the Q follow. So we have the option of using this manually with the remote or also in the follow function. Now this is an updated model. Stuart Golf previously had the X9 follow. So people might have seen that model before and this is kind of the next version. You can see visually it's very different from the Q remote and the Q follow that we've seen before. And I actually really like that. And it's going to be interesting to see how it performs differently in terms of kind of stability. And there's also quite a bit of a difference in terms of those accessory stations. So it's going to be interesting to see how I find that out on the course. So as you can probably tell from the name, the X10 Follow is a follow trolley. That means you can use this remote control, clip it on your belt, and the trolley will simply follow you around the golf course. It's really like having a mini caddy with you. Now, you can also use this as a remote if you choose to, such as sending it to the tee ahead of time. So you really get that versatility in terms of having different options. Now, I really like the design of this. It's quite different to what we see with the Q Follow. So definitely in that, from that point of view, it's a big visual difference. So consumers get a different option. This also comes in numerous different colorways. So definitely a way you can personalize that there. In terms of the top of the trolley, we have a scorecard holder in here, which I really like. It's actually very handy when you're out in tournament play. And also you've got a few holders here for tee pegs and golf balls, which is also a very handy feature. It is worth noting this doesn't fold down quite as small as you see with the Q Follow and the Q Remote, so that is kind of worth considering if you're short of space in your car. So I've been out on the course now and tested both models for nine holes, and I have to say I really enjoyed using both of these. Initially I thought that the Follow trolley was going to be my favourite, because generally that is the kind of function that I lean towards when I use the Q Follow over the remote control. But I actually really enjoyed using the Q remote for nine holes because it really got me used to the remote control functions, which actually are probably the most practical of the whole trolley. 
it's really handy that you can just kind of send your trolley ahead to the tee or move it around the side of the green when you're putting or even if you lose a ball you can just kind of pull the trolley back towards you it's definitely so many useful features that just make you feel more relaxed out on the golf course and like you don't really have to rush and worry about where your things are now in terms of the x10 follow it does have quite a different design to the other stuart trolleys that I've used but I actually really like it I think it's very modern and kind of sci-fi and out there but I would say between the two this is definitely a little bit larger so if you're looking for a more compact trolley this one probably isn't going to fold down quite as much although I would say the folding mechanism is a little bit easier to use. One thing that's really surprised me about all the Stuart golf trolleys I've tested so far is the fact that they have inbuilt scorecard holders. And really when you think about it, I don't know why more people don't do this. It is so handy, it's just so easy to get in and mark your scorecard, you're not having to remember which pocket in your golf bag you've put it in. It's just there, it's really easy to access and it definitely speeds up play. And I really love that feature. I also love the fact in the X10 Follow you've also got handy areas on the handle that you can store extra golf balls and tee pecs which also really helps speed up play and it's just really handy to get in and be able to get those accessories easily. Now if you're someone who's looking to purchase a Stuart Golf Trolley for the first time the Q Remote is such a good addition to this lineup. It comes in significantly cheaper than some of the other models, so for a first step into this market, it's definitely a great model to try out. Now, I love the fact it's styled exactly the same as the Q Fuller, so you really are getting all the same in terms of style and aesthetics, it's just that you haven't got that follow function, but you've still got the fact that you can use it as the remote, which is the really handy feature. And you can also put it into manual if you want to in tight spaces such as down paths. The X10 follow is definitely moving towards the Q follow in terms of pricing, but you do get those extra features such as the follow function. And I just find this so enjoyable. I don't think compared to kind of the remote control, it's as necessarily needed in terms of a function. Like the remote control is so helpful, but the follow function is just so fun to use. It really feels like you have your own caddy out on the golf course. And I find it really helpful in tournaments because if some other people have caddies, I don't feel like I'm getting behind or having to rush. I can still do the things I want to do, like have a drink, come out my scorecard, knowing that the trolley is just following behind me. I don't have to kind of stop and start and worry about getting behind on pace. I also think as a standout aesthetic, this trolley looks great. And I love the fact it comes in three different colors. So you can kind of personalize the looks as well. Overall, both of these products are kind of offering you different things at different price points. And it's really about what you want out on the golf course. Do you want that flexibility of the remote or do you want that extra kind of fun function of the follow as well? Right, that's all for today. If you have any questions about either of these Stuart Golf trolleys or any of the other Stuart Golf products, feel free to put them in the comments below or drop me a line on Twitter or Instagram. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications too. And if you're after more golf content, head over to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.